Hi, I'm Angel Hilton Ian, your instructor in EST 200 Digital Electronics at College of Industrial Technology, Negros Oriental State University, Bayawan, Santa Catarina Campus. Uh, we are going to discuss all about the computer number system. Hi, I am Engineer Elton Ian M. Hu, your instructor in AST 200 Digital Electronics. Now, this time we are going to discuss the number systems. That is a part one of our discussion of number system. Now, to begin with, we have here the objectives. So, the first objectives that you will be able to understand why computers use binary, usually in base 2, numbering. So understand how to convert base to numbers to base 10 or base 8. Understand how to convert base 8 numbers to base 10 or base 2. And the last is the students or you will be able to understand how to convert base 16 numbers to base 10, base 2, or base 8. Next is why binary number system. So actually, computers are made of a series of switches. Each switch has two states, the on and off. One, binary one stands for on, and binary zero for, for off. Uh, usually, we're going to use this one in our programming. Each state can be represented by a number 1 for on and 0 for off. In programming, this, this is also used no? to be on and off for the high or the low or the 0 volts, oh no, the 5 volts or the 0 volts for the off. Okay, and binary number system uses only 0 and 1 number and nothing else. So, it is called binary because it uses, it uses two numbers, the 0 and the 1. Now, examples of the converting base 2 to base 10, which will to be uh, discussed clearly in the next slides. Example, no? 10011 to the base 2. So, 1 stands for on, and 0 for off. 0 for off, 1 for on, 1 for on. So this is in the computer number system or in the binary number system for the programming. So 1 stands for on on the device. And 0 for the off state. Okay, now the exponent for every uh, value of this binary number system, sample we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5 bits combinations for this sample. Excuse me. So starting from 0, exponent 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. From the rightmost bit to the leftmost. Most. So starting from 0, exponents of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And 2 to the power of 0 because we're going to use 2 as our base. That is. 2 to the power of 0. So, sorry, this is 1 times 2 to the power of 0, 1 times 2 to the power of 1, 0 times 2 to the power of 2, 0 times 2 to the power of 3, and 1 times 2 to the power of uh, 4. Okay, what is 1? Okay. So, 1 times 2 to the power of 0, 1 times 2 to the power of 1, okay, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, exponent. And we have 0 times 2 to the power of 2, 0 times 2 to the power of 3, and 1 times 2 to the power of 4. Uh, 2 to the power of 3 and 2 to the power of 2 are being uh, not included because any number multiplied by 0 is always equal to 0. Okay, then we are going to add this equivalent form in, binary, in decimal form. So 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2 by itself. Any number raised to the power of 1 is the number itself. Another example is 5 to the power of 1 that is always equal to 5. And any number raised to the power of 0 is always equal to 1. 
Okay, so to the power of 0 is equal to 1. 10 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. 5 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Okay, then this one is we all are 0 because any number multiplied by 0 is always equal to 0. Then 2 to the power of 4, that is equal to 2 times 2. That is equal to 2, uh, 4. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. 8 times 2 is equal to 16. So therefore, we're going to add uh, numbers that are not 0. So 16 plus 2 is equal to 18 plus 1 is equal to 19. So therefore, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1 in binary form to the base 2 that is equal to 19 to the base 10. Not only 19 is combination of 1 and 9. So now this is my form. Okay, that's only an example. Okay, number systems include decimal. Decimal is the our daily counting numbers that is from 0 to 9. And binary that is in the computer number system. Only binary, octal, and decimal are used in a computer number system. So binary uses 0 and 1, that is called pi. And the octal is from 0 to 7, that is from 0 to 7, that is 8 numbers, including 0. And it's a decimal, that is 16 numbers. So from 0 to 9, then A to F, where A is equal to 10, B is equal to 11, C is equal to 12, B is equal to 13, E is equal to 14, and F is equal to 15. Okay, it's system from four number base. Uh, number system. So for binary, we have the base 2, and the symbol for binary is B. And for octal number system, we have the base 8, and the symbol for octal is letter O. Decimal, we have base 10, that is the symbol for decimal is letter D, and it's a decimal is in the base 16, and the symbol is H. Okay, so decimal number system. What is decimal number system? Is the decimal number system, this is base 10. It includes the digits from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 10 is a combination of 1 and 0. 20 is a combination of 2 and 0, and so on and so forth. The weighted values of its positions are actually the red one or the right of the decimal point. Uh, we're not going to discuss this one further because this is not the important in our discussions of the conversion of binary number system to decimal number system. What we're going to use is this one on the lip of the decimal poem where now as you this 10 is always used because 10 is in decimal form and 10 is our base in the base 10. So again, the exponent is always uh, the same no? in our number system. For example, for the base 2, so our exponent starting from 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so this one also is 10 to the power of 0. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on and so forth. Okay, then or any number with the power of 0 is always equal to 1. And 10 to the power of 1 or any number if power uh, is to the, to the power of the exponent of 1 is always equal to the number, to the number itself. So 10 to the power 1 is always equal to 10, and 10 to the power of 2, or 10 times 10, is equal to 100. And 10 to the power of 3, that is equal to 10, times 10 is equal to 100, times 10 that is equal to 1000. And 10 to the power of 4 is multiplied the, num the number of so 4 times, 4 times. So that is 10 times 10, times 10, times 10, that is equal to 10,000. Or actually, you know, we're going to multiply uh, the number exponent of this uh, uh, of this decimal number system is indicates a number of 0 that we're going to add. Okay, times 1 to the 1. So example, uh, so 1 10 to the power of 4, that is equal to 1, and 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Example, 10 to the power of 3, that is 1. 
then three zeros one two two and ten to the power of two that is equal to one then three zero one two and ten to the power of one that is one and one zero that is zero. okay then one or any number raised to the power of zero is always equal to one okay, each digit in decimal form appearing to the left of the decimal point represents a value between 0 and 9 times the power of 10 represented by its position in the number. Okay. Digits appearing to the right of the decimal poem represents a value between 0 and 9 times an increasing negative power of 10. An example, the value is 725. Point 0.194 is represented in expansion form as follows. So, as you have noticed, from 7, so we have here two decimal, which we know no, that this is 700. So, therefore, 7 and 2 zero. Now, adding to 0, as you have noticed, that, that is times 10 to the power of 2. So, that is 7 times 10 to the power of 2, plus 2 times so one zero only, no? This is one zero. So two times ten to the power of one. This one. And on any number raised to the power of zero is always equal to one. And as you have noticed, this is ten. So since we are in decimal form, so ten to the power of zero is always one times five that is equal to five. And this one is plus one times ten to the negative one because that is negative one. And 9 times 10 to the negative 2, because that is 2 decimal places. And 4 times 10 to the negative 3, because that is, on this point, we have 3 decimal places. That is 1, 2, 3. And that is negative because it going from right to left. Okay. So, anyway, this is only our representations, how the, the numbers are being combined no, through their exponential form. Okay, next is the binary numbers base system. So, most modern computer systems using binary logic, like example, the OR gate, the, the AND gate, the, the XOR, the NOR gate, the NOT gate, the NAND gate, and so on and so forth. The computer represents values, usually 0 and 1, that is in binary. It's Using two voltage levels, usually zero volts for logic zero. Actually, this could be applied in our programming and controls of the electronic devices and other mechanical devices, yes. and electronics in robotics and and also in automotive. And either 3.3 volts or 5 volts for the logic one. And here you can understand this one when we are going to. Uh, Control some of the electronic devices, example, cell phone controlling a, a lights from the home, and whatsoever. Okay, the binary number system uses base 2, so again, includes only the digits 0 and 1. So the weighted values for its positions are like this one. Actually, we're not going to use negative uh, exponential form because it is not usually used in our. Uh, in our conversion. So again, starting from zero, since two, as you have noticed, all are used here are number two because we're in binary number system and our base is two. And this one, zero, is in the exponent starting from zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on and so forth. But I'm not going to use this one you know, for binary system. So what we're going to do is, starting from 1, from 2 to the power of 0, or any number raised to the power of 0 is always equal to 1. So what we're going to do is, we're going to put uh, 1 as our reference, then the rest is multiplied by 2. Okay, So 1 times 2 is equal to 2. 2 times 2, that is equal to 4. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. And 8 times 2 is equal to 16. 16 times 2 is equal to 
32. 32 times 2 is equal to 64. 64 times 2 is equal to 128. And 128 times 2 is equal to 256. 256 times 2 is equal to 512. Or 512, and so on, and so on. Okay. So actually, we're, what we're going to do is, we're going to use this one. You know, this value in our truth table. Okay, next is, what is number-based conversion? Okay, so, basic conversion is converting a different base to a, another base of a number system. Example, binary to the base 2, converted to a decimal number system to the base 10. So, binary to decimal, in our example, is what we're going to do is to multiply its digit, so binary, no? by its weighted position. And add each of the weighted values together or use expansion from form directly. Actually, it was already discussed in the earlier uh, slides. So, example of the binary value, example 1100, represents a. Now, uh, we're going to convert this one. So, starting here, we have to put uh, 0 no? as our uh, exponential form. So, from the rightmost. Bit, we are going to start uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, what we're going to do is multiply 1 times 2 to the power of 7 and plus 1, this one, plus 1 times 2 to the power of 6, plus 0 times 2 to the power of 5, plus 0 times 2 to the power of 4, plus 1 times 2 to the power of 3. And 0 times 2 to the power of 2, and plus 1 times 2 to the power of 1, and 0 times 2 to the power of 0. Our multiplier is in a base 2. So that's why we're going to use two, all these 2 as our multiplier, and according also to their exponential form. So now, 0 are not included because any number multiplied by 0 is always equal to 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to add. This one, any number that is one. So one times two to the power of seven is equal to one to eight. And this one is also is equal to sixty-four. Plus this one that is equal to one times two to the power of eight. Ah uh, no, one times two to the power of three that is equal to eight. And this one is one times two to the power of one. That is equal to uh, this one that is equal to any number raised to the power of 1 is always equal to the number itself. It is equal to 2. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. So adding that one, 1 to 8 plus 64 plus 8. So 1 to 8 plus 64 is equal to 100. Okay, 172. Then, oh no. 64, 1 to 8, that is 2. That is, oh no, 192. So, 192, 192 plus 8, that is equal to 200. 200 plus 2 is equal to 202. Okay, so, that is the long method, no? the long method of solving the, or uh, converting the binary, 10, uh, one one zero zero one zero one zero into decimal form that is equal to 202. So therefore, the answer, okay, the answer, so therefore, the answer, uh, the answer for this one is, uh, therefore, the answer is, answer, Is okay. Binary is one one zero zero one zero one zero to the base two is equal to two hundred two to the base ten. Okay, that is our answer. And this one also our subscript. Hey, I'm going to keep it there.
So the answer no, for the conversion of binary to decimal number system is equal to the binary 11001010. So the base 2 is always equal to from our uh, solutions, we come up with a 202 and a decimal number system. Okay. Next is in a short method. Okay, the same example that we're going to use by using truth table. So now, as I discussed earlier, no, we're going to start with one. No, muna ako giingon niya. Ato siyang gamiton no, in our short method uh, solving this problem. So this is a very simple way of uh, solving a problem compared to a long method of uh, solving or converting binary number system to decimal form. So this one, no, first is going to to put no, the our exponential form. So what I'm going to do is any number is the power zero is always equal to one. So again, one times two because we are in the base two. One times two is equal to two. Two times is equal to four. Four times is equal to eight. Eight times is equal to sixteen. Sixteen times two is equal to thirty-two. Thirty-two times two is equal to sixty-four. And 64 times 2 is equal to 128. And 128 times 2 is equal to uh, 512. Oh no, 256. 256, sorry. 256. Okay, so, but we cannot go to a further because we have only how many uh, bits combinations? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, now, since that we have already this one, no? what we're going to do is we're going to plot no? atong ibutang ang um, 11001010 in this truth table. So, plotting that one, so put zeros here in zero at the rightmost bit. One in this uh, table, then 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. So, what we're going to do is Add all the numbers that having one. Okay, so all numbers in this stock uh, positions having a one are added. No, do not add having zero value. So what we need to add is one to eight plus sixty four plus eight zero is one plus two plus zero is one. That is equal to 1 to 8 plus 64 is equal to 192 plus 4 plus 8 is equal to 200 plus 2 is equal to 102. So the decimal, decimal equivalent for this one is 1 to 8 plus 64 is 192 plus 8 with 1 that is equal to 200 and plus 2. Plus one, that is two hundred two. So that is the equivalent also for a short method. Now this time is we're going to uh, invert. We're going to reverse the conversion. So before we convert this binary to decimal, and this time we're going to reverse the conversion from decimal to binary so again there are two methods that may be used to convert from integer number in decimal form to binary form so converting that one our uh, decimal to binary what we to do is we to use uh, we divide we repeat division okay repeated division by two which means Binary add uh, since it's decimal, then we're going to convert it by 2 because we're going to convert it to binary form. So binary is in the base 2. So for this method, divide the decimal number by 2. Okay, if the remainder is 0 on the right side, write down 0. If the remainder is 1, write down 1. So when performing the, divi when performing the division, the remainders which will represent the binary equivalent of the decimal number are written beginning at the least significant digit at the right and each new digit is written to more significant digit the left of the previous digit 
Okay, may sample. So, convert the number 333 to binary. So, all we're going to do is, we're going to divide 333, oh, by 2. That is the decimal number system uh, divided by, by base 2. So, 333 divided by 2 is equal to 166. something, 0.5. And we're not going to include the decimal point, so what we're going to do is the whole number. So, 166 times 2 is equal to 332. So, we have an excess of 1 as our remainder. So, we are to get 8.1 here. So then we are going to put it in the rightmost bit. Then we have 166 divided by 2, that is 83. 83 times 83 point something. Oh no? 83. 83. No, no decimal point. So 83 times 2, that is equal to 166. Then there could be no excess or the remainder is also uh, 0. Okay. So we're going to add 0. Uh, from this remainder. Uh, this is zero. Then 83 divided by 2 is equal to 41.5. Uh, so we're going to record 41 only. So 41 times 2 that is equal to 82. So there, there is an excess of 1. So 1 is our remainder. So we're going to add also from this one 1 that becomes 1. So one. And 41 divided by 2 that is equal to 20. Point five and twenty point twenty is uh, recorded and one is discarded. A point five is discarded. So twenty times two is equal to forty, and that is an excess of one. So one is our remainder. And twenty divided by two that is equal to ten. No remainder. That is zero. Ten divided by two that is equal to five. No remainder. So that is is zero. And then. 5 divided by 2, that is equal to 2.5. And 0.5 is not recorded. So 2 times 2, that is equal to 4. So there's an excess of 1. So our remainder is 1. And 2 divided by 2, that is equal to 1. Then no remainder. And 1 divided by 2 cannot be. No? Cannot be in our rule because 1 is less than 2. And we cannot divide 1 by 2. In a conversion of binary number system, uh, no decimal number system to to binary. So one divided by two is zero, cannot be, and carry one as our name. So therefore, to read your data, your binary number system is from bottom to top. That is one zero one zero zero one one zero one, or that is one that is zero. That is one, that is zero, that is zero, that is one, that is one, zero, and that is one. Okay, so we're a short method. Okay, short method using truth table again. So convert the number 333 to binary. So what are we going to do is the same, no? Uh, we're going to plot starting from one, one times. 2 that is equal to 2, 2 times 2 is equal to 4, 4 times 2 is equal to 8, 8 times 2 is equal to 16, 16 times 32 is equal to, ah no, 16 times 2 is equal to 32, 32 times 2 is equal to 64, 64 times 2 is equal to 1 to 8, and 1 to 8 times 2 is equal to 256, 256 times 2 is equal to 512, but 512 is not included because 512 is greater than 333. So, it cannot be used no, in our uh, conversion because 333 is the numbers that we are going to convert to binary form. And 512 is already greater than 333. And the closest number no, in our table is 256. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use 256. We have to put 1 for 256. Uh, never mind for this one because okay, we're going to go through on this part. So what we're going to do is we're going to assign 1 for 256 and this 256 is a subtractor or a subtrahend.
Okay, so we're going to use 26 or uh, first no, to subtract a uh, number to subtract for 333. So 333 minus 256, that is equal to 77. So 77, so you have noticed that it is less than uh, 1 to 8, but 1 to 8 is greater than 77. So we know that 77 is greater uh, less than 1 to 8, so we're going to put 0 for this one because we cannot we cannot use 1 to 8 for subtracting a small number. So we assign 0 no, for 1 to 8. Now this time, the closest for 77 is 64. So we put 1 for 64. So therefore 77 minus 64 because we assigned 1 for this one. And it's equal to 13. Again, 32 is greater than 13. So we are going to put 0, 32. And also 16 is greater than 13. So we put also 0. Then the plus is for 13. That is in our table. That is 8. So we put 1. So 13 minus 8 is 1. No? Minus 8. That is equal to 5. So therefore, 5 is greater than 4. So we have to subtract. So we have to we have to put also 1 for 4 as our subfactor. So 5 minus 4 that is equal to 1. Okay. Then 2 is 0 because 2 is greater than 1. And 1, we have to assign value also as 1 so that it will be subtracted to 1. Okay. So 1 minus 1, this one, is equal to 0. So our purpose of this, uh, performing or a solution is to make the decimal numbers no, becomes zero. So that's why we're going to subtract all these uh, numbers that we have signed in the two table by assigning one for the numbers that is less than to a, uh, the output of the, the difference no, the difference of the subtraction. So again, okay, 333 to convert 333 from decimal to binary. So we're going to put 1 for 206 and 333 less. No, we have to subtract with 256 and it's called the 77. So 77, 128 is greater than 77, so we're going to put 0. And 64 is less than 77, so we could put 1, so we put 77, minus 64, that is equal to 13. And 13, 32 is greater than 13, so we're going to put 0, and also 16 is greater than 13, so we're going to put 0. And 8 is less than 13, so we have to put 1, so we're going to put 13, minus 8, is equal to 5. And 4, also less than 5. So therefore, we're going to put 1 for 4. So that is 5 minus 4, that is equal to 1. Then 2 is greater than 1. So we're going to put 0. And 1 is equal to 1. So therefore, we're going to put 1. So 1, 1 minus 1, that is equal to 0. Okay, so... Our answer for the 333 in the binary, uh, in the decimal form, is equal to 10100101. So that is 10100101101 to the base 2. Now to check that one, so what we're going to do is add all with binary 1. So tanan yung mga numbers, all the numbers here with 1. Atong i add. Okay, so 256 plus 1 plus 64 plus 1 also plus 8 plus 4 plus 1. So that is equal to 256 plus 64, that is equal to um, okay, 10, 11, 2, that is 200. Uh, Eleven. It is three hundred. Uh, three hundred ten. Three hundred ten. 
So, 310 plus 8, ano, 320. Uh, 4 plus 6, that is 10, 6, chapter, 320. So, 320 plus 8, that is equal to 328. Plus 4, that is 332. Plus 1, that is equal to 333. Okay, that is only checking purposes. But the answer for that one is this one. That is plot. Uh, 333 to binary, so 333 to the base 10, that is equal to 10100101101 to the base 2. Hopefully, that will be better understanding on the conversion of binary to decimal and decimal to binary so that you can answer our quiz on the Edmodo as our quiz number 2 for digital electronics once again this is your instructor in EST 200 engineer Elton Ian and goodness to all of you thank you so much